A big hello to you. So great to see you. I hope I find you well. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jenny Kirk, welcoming you up here to Weir Yard. And today we're going to be talking about rolling roads. And it's something that I do get asked about quite a lot about what rolling road I'm using. Uh, quite often in some of my reviews, you get to see them in the background as locomotives are being run on DC and such like. And certainly I have used for quite a few years now the DCC Concepts range of rolling road because you don't need a dedicated device for this. They're just a series of clip-on rollers that just fit straight onto the track on your layout and you can use them for running up locomotives. Now, what might you use a rolling road for? Well, they're perfect for running in locomotives. You can just leave them there chugging away, especially if you don't have a continuous running layout. They're also great for diagnosing faults. And if you've got things like wobbly wheels or catching valve gear, it's a lot easier to spot what's going on if you can sit there and watch a locomotive very, very closely as it runs in a much more controlled environment in a way that you'd find very difficult to do whilst it's physically moving on your layout. So they're really invaluable tools for all of these. And I really like the DCC Concepts range because they are regageable. So you get some plastic inserts with the kits and you can just unscrew them, dismantle them and put them back together. So they're multiple rolling roads in one if you've got other scales or gauges that you model in. Now the premium range of rolling roads from DCC Concepts came out a little while ago and these uh, include gold plating so they're a uh, much fancier product but that gold does also serve a purpose in that because gold does not oxidize it means you get a much better electrical conductivity uh, much more reliability and they come in a presentation box which really does look great and makes them perfect for a gift and also as part of this range they introduced for the first time O-gauge rollers, which as you can see just behind me, there's a class 08 in O-gauge just quite happily chugging away on a set of these. And it means that if you're an O-gauge modeler for the first time, you're able to enjoy the same benefits. But today, and thanks to DCC Concepts who sent over the 00 HO gauge premium rolling road for me to take a good close look at, we're going to be delving into this range and just seeing all the different things that you can do with these and how to get the best out of them. So come with me in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts and uh, browse the full range available today from tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support comes from Rails of Sheffield. Sell to the name you know and trust. Buy, sell or exchange any age or any gauge. Call them now for the very best price. Check them out today at the link below. But without further ado, let's take a look at the DCC Concepts Premium Rolling Road range and see if it lives up to expectations. <laughs> One of the things that I do get asked about a lot is what rolling road I'm using when people watch the reviews, they see locomotives running on a set of rollers, often actually just on my DC test track, they're commonly seen. And people just want to know what they are. Well, they are a commercially available product and they come from DCC Concepts and they've been in their range for an awfully long time. And as you can see here, um, here's one of my regular rollers and what I like about them is the interchangeable spaces. So I also model in 009 HOE and N gauge and that means that I can very quickly just swap out the spacer and you just re-gauge them with the enclosed spacers and you don't need a separate rolling road for each gauge that you model. Now, 
new to the DCC Concepts range are these premium rolling roads. And as you can see here, they come in a leatherette presentation case, which is different from the plastic blister pack that you might be used to seeing the regular versions of the rolling roads in. This is actually a really great idea for uh, any number of different modelers, and they're available in four different sets. Now, the first one is N-Gage, which comes with spacers for TT uh, HOM. And there's this version, which is the double O HO version with the rollers all preset to that gauge, but with additional spacers to cater for P4 and EM. In the box, you get everything that you need to get these up and running in your choice of gauge. And it does also include one of the screwdrivers uh, branded for DCC Concepts. These are actually the same as you can buy in their toolkits, but it's pre-set up with the appropriate uh, Phillips type head. And this allows us to just go straight in and with minimum effort, you can just unscrew these and re-gauge them at will. So just put that on there and then screw it back in. Don't over tighten it and you can see that the rollers just transferred across. Now these rollers are free running, they've got a pressed in ball race so they are uh, really really easy to use, they don't affect the running of the locomotive there's no risk of the locomotive climbing out of these because the rolling resistance on these is very, very low. And uh, the gold plating that you see on the premium ones, gold doesn't oxidize. So it means that you get a much better improved electrical continuity through, which um, is just something that is one less thing to be bothered by. Certainly, you don't have to be quite so fastidious with cleaning, if they get a little bit of oil or muck on them, then it's not going to bother the gold. And certainly they do look quite impressive when you compare them to the silvery finish of the regular versions. The other items that you get in the box are these pickup skate adapters. Now, for most people, these aren't going to be something that you really need to bother with. But for anybody who, for example, is into collecting older three rail models, so we've got Marklin, Lionel, that kind of thing, Hornby 00, Trix, these are an absolute must. And the way that these work is we've got this additional skate adapter with a very long groove, which allows a degree of flexibility for adjustment. We get two screws as well. And what we need to do is again, using the same screwdriver, is just screw that in. What I tend to do with these is not screw them in tight, just enough that you can slide these along. And I'm gonna put a second roller underneath here. Again, don't wanna get that too tight, so we've got a degree of adjustment. And then this is the clever bit. We can just plug in the skate to the lead and then uh, we just clip this to the third rail and you can see underneath we've got the cutout where the third rail on three rail track would just sit neatly underneath you can just put these straight onto the three rail track if you so desire but there's also a party trick you can do using some masking tape just to insulate one side from the second rail and then uh, you clip this to that second rail to provide power to the pickup skates. When it comes to running up a three rail locomotive, we've got the pickup skates underneath, and typically that means that these wheels are at the same polarity. If we put them onto a straight DC two rail track, it's just gonna short out the power and not run at all. And that's where the party trick for these rollers comes in. I'm gonna use a little piece of masking tape just over one of the rails and that's just to provide some insulation. I'm then going to bring in the one that we prepared earlier with the skate adapter. Just clip this back to the rail over here 
and then I've got this three rail locomotive to test it on and we just line up the wheels and then just powering it up the final two sets are both for O gauge and the thing about O gauge models is they are a good deal heavier uh, with obviously much bigger wheels and that's where this premium range really does come into its own. So I've got here a full set of the O gauge rollers and you can see when I compare these to the uh, standard 00 HO ones everything is scaled up. The thickness of the sides is much beefier and the ball races on there too are much much bigger with the spacings designed perfectly for the larger drivers on O gauge locomotives just to fit and sit in there. We've still got the same design here with the spacers made out of the same blue plastic and then underneath the ends just screw on so if for any reason you needed to uh, change that then these ends do unscrew in the similar manner but you see we've also got just down the middle there uh, a magnet and I'm just going to uh, stick that to it and you can see that's quite a good magnet and the set also comes with a set of metal plates that are um, lithographed to look like they are kind of wooden occupation crossing you can glue those to the track and then these become attracted to that metal plate that just blends into your layout and just helps increase stability. Although I must be honest and say that I haven't found them uh, absolutely necessary, but they are included as an extra thing just in case. Now the O-Gage Premium Rolling Road is available either as a four pack, which I've got here, which is perfect if you've got things like shunting locomotives, 060s, um, 260s, uh, or for example, if you've got a Bobo diesel, there's a lot in the market. We've just reviewed the Hellion Class 26, and these would be perfect for that. If you've got much bigger locomotives, and there are a lot of really nice O gauge models on the market, uh, DCC Concepts also sell a six roller set in O gauge to give you those extra two rollers. As you can see here on a length of Pico track, just like the Baby Brothers, they fit straight onto the track and the uh, a spacer piece in between just sits in between and makes sure that they stay in place. And for anybody who's an O-gauge modeler, space is often a premium. A lot of O-gauge models tend to be little shunting layouts end to ends because the amount of space required for a continuous run is huge. And that makes these absolutely invaluable to run up a locomotive and to run it in to fault find and certainly it's a, a pleasure to just sit and watch your expensive locomotive purchases just chugging away on top of these in one place and you can check for wobbly wheels uh, any issues with the valve gear much much easier than if you had it running on a layout one of the things that I actually do with this is on the end of this length of track I've actually soldered two wires and clipping these with crocodile clips to my standard uh, double O gauge layout means that I can run O gauge locomotives really really easily using the power system from my double O layout and you just slide these to where you need them to be and we'll be demonstrating that in the video. Just as we did on double O, it's really easy to use as many or as few rollers as you need. Line up, make sure the locomotive is square onto the rollers and then run it accordingly. Quite often modelers who model DCC like myself don't actually have a DC track to be able to run in models which are not yet DCC fitted. And so what I actually have is I have a short length of track that is connected to a GauGemaster DC controller and that allows me to run up 
uh, DC only locomotives and as you can see there it's not really that long a length of track and the reason for this is that's not how I actually use this and the premium rolling road gives us the opportunity to very very quickly set up a number of rollers to match the wheelbase of the locomotive so three there for this class 04 diesel and very very quickly you can set it up so we've got the right number for the locomotive and then give it a little bit of power it's a little bit of a reluctant locomotive and um, but that's the whole point of running in so once we get it up and running we can now leave this running until it runs in and as you can see the locomotive never actually needs to go anywhere if you're a DCC modeler, this is the perfect way to run models on DC, either prior to fitting or for fault finding. As you can see, this will benefit from a good long run on these rollers. We can change the direction. And I can immediately see that we've got a wobble on this and one of these wheels will need a little bit of attention. And that is something that is so easy to uh, find a fault with and fix when you're able to run your locomotives up like this on a rolling road. When it comes to changing up the uh, wheel arrangement, we can then very quickly slide these along and make them perfect for the next locomotive. Using the rollers on DCC requires no adaption whatsoever. It's simply a case of placing out the rollers onto the track and they'll just pick up from your DCC power system. Sometimes I find it's easiest just to place the locomotive behind like this and then just line up the rollers with the wheels any that you uh, don't need just take away and then you can place the locomotive carefully on top of the rollers and then it's just a case of running it up on your DCC system. The rollers also work just fine with any locomotive with DCC sound and you'll be able to access all of the sound functions through the rollers as if the locomotive was just sat on your regular layout. When you're done it's a really simple matter. Taking the locomotive off and then you can remove the rollers and return the track to be an ordinary operating track. I hope you really enjoyed today's video and found it informative and in terms of prices on these we've got an affiliate link to, in the description box down below that takes you to Rails of Sheffield to browse the full range and the N-gauge ones which are regaugeable to TT or HOM uh, the double HO ones which are regaugeable to P4 and EM and the four roller O gauge premium rolling roads are all available from Rails of Sheffield for just a shade under £80. If you're looking for the six roller O gauge premium rolling road that's just a shade under £120 and they're all available at that link down below. I'd also love to hear from you in the comments section just what you think about this product. Is it something that you've used? Used. Is it something that you like the look of or indeed if there's other products that uh, you use as well and what your experiences are of those two. It's a great way of helping out modelers by just leaving your experiences so that people can read through and make a decision of what maybe is the best for them. But it's been really enjoyable going through this range. Big thank you to DCC Concepts for sending over the 00HO set. And don't forget that we've got a full merch store down there. Do check out all of our stylish merchandise, including t-shirts and hoodies with a range of exclusive designs. We've also got a link to where you can pick up the Monday Club exclusive commissioned wagon, only available through us, and you can order in confidence from Rails of Sheffield who are handling order fulfilment. Uh, we've also got a link to our Patreon site. Do check us out over in there if you want to help support the channel. And until next time, you take great care of yourself. Happy modeling. Like, share and subscribe. Bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic. 
Makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. Additional support comes from Rails of Sheffield. Sell to the name you know and trust. Family-run business purchasing collections for over 50 years. From single items to lifetime collections, no collection is too small or too big. Buy, sell or exchange, any age or any gauge. Rails will take everything locos, coaches, wagons, track work, controllers, accessories. In fact, they will take absolutely everything and certainly will not cherry pick the best items. Rails are only a phone call away. Call them now for the very best price and get instant cash payment or same day transfer. Check them out today at the link below. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYM Arish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, Alan Dickerson, Eddie Papair, Karen Nicholl, Medwin Williams, Crossways Point Junction, 3B Rail, Jennifer Horton, and James Beckett. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.